Good morning. We are leaving Vetrala. Um, it is me and Hopalong Casual Tea. We are um, on our way to Sutri, Soka. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer because we'll be slow. I've asked Sprankan if she will let me know if she can't, but she's being a combination of obstinate and brave and herself, um, where she wants to carry everything and still walk. So let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, and a couple of other interesting events here, yeah? um, but that's for a bit later. But right now, it's hot. It's going to be a hot day, long day, it's like 24 kilometers, I think. And uh, I can already see the first uphill. Oy, oy, oy. Hello, Hi. Right, about four and a half kilometers just outside Vitralo's city borders. Uh, you enter this uh, forest area, which they also use for mountain biking. So it is, uh, that's beautiful. After yesterday's thunder and thunderstorm, uh, it's a little bit muddy, but not serious. It's a little bit up as well, as you can hear from my uh, breathing. But uh, there's shade, which is very welcome today in this scorcher of a day. So this is a nice stretch uh, just outside Vitrola. Very nice. Let's go. How are we doing there, Hopalong Casualty? Okay, that was just a giggle. Okay, that's a little bit more than we got earlier. More earlier it was a grunt, now it's a giggle. Maybe we'll get a song later, who knows? Yeah, lacquer. Right, so we are walking through this grove of hazelnut trees. How do I know that they are hazelnut? Well, Sprunkon has Google Lens on her phone. This is her replacement phone after the first one got wet earlier in the trip, as you know. So <laughs> she's discovered Google Lens and is using it very effectively. So I'm very impressed. And, but what happens now is every time that she uses Google Lens, her telephone automatically in her backpack starts telling her how to make pasta with hazelnut. So, I don't know, but I'm going to be so enriched by the end of this trip. I'm just going to know everything. But anyway, in the meantime, hazelnuts it is. We're about 10 kilometers in. Yes, let's go.
Rome is calling. So here we are, hop along casualty and sidekick. And um, it's been a hell of a so long day. I feel like the lead actor, not actress, in a Italian gangster movie. <laughs> hey now. Anyway, we've got eight k's to go, so there's no stopping us now. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Andiamo. We're finally here. So accommodation for tonight. It's nice. It came with a 9.7 on booking.com. Bye Caprina, Cap Cap Caparin Caprino, Capoeira. It was a nice surprise. Hello, let's go sutri. Right, so the reason we are out of breath is because when you leave Kaponika, I think that's the village's name. Beautiful, uh, worth a visit and a stop if you can. There's a, you kind of go long and winding road down, just because, out of the gates and down into a little park, and then across the park and straight into a mother of all inclines. Very, very steep, and uh, yeah, a little bit of a tearjerker. Um, and then it takes us back into what took us back into forest path and uh, from what I understand this is kind of pretty much all the way to Sutri from here another uh, five kilometers so so uh, almost there and then this day is done and then we can rest our weary knees This uh, forest next to the river just before Sutri is extraordinary. It is uh, it's such high trees, moss on the, on the bottom of the trees, the river. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's welcome to, welcome thing to be able to spend some time hiking in this that's cool just about to go over a bridge check it out you can see that oopsie bridge is a little bit wonky so and part of it's fallen down okay i'm going first right 
Okie dokie. I'm hoping the Romans built this. Okay, so for those of you who uh, are watching this, there's a wonky bridge just before Sutri. Watch out. It's quite old. <laughs> I don't know, this superwoman is something else. I mean, talk about tough as they come. My love. Wherever we've gone, I don't know if you can actually see this, but in Tuscany, uh, and even here, there's these seed. I mean, it's, the ground is full of them. And they're all over the show. It's, it comes from it like a big tree. And they uh, oh, just float around. And then eventually they don't float and they land up there. On the ground. But it's like snow. But it's not snow. Just before we get to Sutri, there's a cave. That's amazing. Someone definitely stayed there at some stage. The deep dark cave. First glimpse of Sutri as you come out of the forest. Um, it's one of those that surprise you and suddenly you're there. As opposed to Radicophony where you see it and you keep on asking yourself, are we there? But you're not because you're not getting any closer so this was welcome and uh, it looks beautiful and we're busy walking up and then we're gonna get these packs of our bags and have a beer of course uh. welcome to Sutri Go and we're in. Welcome to Sutri. The locals are having fun. Uh, it is a bit of a climb up here, I must say. And there we've got the fountain in the square. It's very cute, beautiful. Okay, let's go find out where we're staying. <laughs> 